It is a joy for us to share with you about our Eight Dates Marriage Program. For each of our Eight Date Sessions, we open with opening prayer and a greeting from His Eminence Blessing Metropolitan Yadasimos. And the families that we then present a quote hand it for the over evening. To Father Jim Pappas to share our quote for the evening. For indeed, a house is a little church. Thus, it is possible for us by becoming good husbands and wives to surpass all others. That's Saint John Chrysostom. And then, now and following the quote, we oftentimes hold an interactive poll question, engaging couples in something relevant to the topic at hand. So we see on a lot of these poll questions, and it applies to tonight, certainly on splitting tasks, it automatically takes us into marital mode when it comes to, are we doing things, in this case, household tasks, are we doing things in a way that makes sense for both people? At the heart of our Eight Dates program are our teaching videos created by all of the members of our Family Wellness Ministry team. We try to bring an orthodox perspective to the very important topics that we discuss in Eight Dates. All of our teaching videos for Eight Dates are available on our website, along with a handout for each session. Here's an example of one of our teaching videos hey, people, on conflict happening? by We're Director into chapter George two, agree to disagree. Managing conflict. I'd say one of the most intimate chapters, certainly the most revealing of all the topics. Gottman even says, that conflict is the greatest opportunity for growth and intimacy. So I want us just to breathe a little, think a little, that we may be headed into almost like a, a rethinking on our understanding of conflict. Gottman goes on to say that mutual understanding is the healthiest, most productive goal of all conflict. So let me just say that again, that what's the goal of conflict? Mutual understanding. It's like job one. When conflict comes up, what's job one? Mutual understanding. I hear you, you hear me. Job one, I get you, you get me. Job one, I see you, you see me. Mutual understanding is the number one goal of all conflict. I've got a question for you. Where do you go with conflict? Where do you go with conflict? Where do you take it? Where does it end up going when you're involved in conflict? St. Isaac of Syria, 6th century, is known to have said, to see yourself as you really are is a miracle greater than raising the dead. If we put it in our context on this topic of conflict, to see yourself on how you actually handle conflict, how for you to see how you do conflict is a miracle greater than raising the dead. And that's where I want us to go. I want us to go to the miracle. I want us to go into integrating our Orthodox faith in that call to self humble self-reflection. Following the teaching video, we where give we couples a chance to discuss a question and reflect and share face to face and heart to heart. Following our couples time, we will break out into small breakout room discussions facilitated by our Family Wellness Ministry team. During our breakout room time, we get to know one another, share perspectives, stories, and learn from our eight Wonderful dates community. Conversations. And now I'm going to hand it over to George Papa George for his closing remarks. I said this before, just because I come out of the, the breakout time saying yet another great group time. So all of you have had your own great experience. So I really appreciate that. It really strikes me that um, everything that these couples were saying about how to interact with their kids and how to make the, their home a little church, I think there's something going right in their lives. And I think there's something going right in our parishes because it just feels like there's some good, lovely, beautiful insights happening in the lives of, of these couples. So uh, that's a blessing. After the closing remarks, we remind 
are couples about the task at hand, preparing to go on their dates. This week, please prepare for and go on date number five. Engage, cycle back to these questions. If you didn't get enough time to process them, if you didn't, if you weren't able to talk about all the things, or if something was sparked in your conversation with each other, explore that a bit more. And then act, introduce a new daily habit or tradition within the family. Um, create a prayer corner, commit to eating meals as a family, some of the examples. We had another great suggestion, sorry, I have to just share this because it was so meaningful, um, which was, it, it's not just about putting icons up and saying prayers in a prayer corner, it's also about taking the feelings of church home to your home. So that safe place, that calm place, that place where you just feel so good and feel your like your best, most authentic self. So practice doing that. And now I'll go ahead and hand it over to Father Timothy Pavlatis for our closing prayer. Thank you, Johanna. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord Jesus Christ, having crowned and blessed us with oneness through the holy mystery of marriage, grant us also according to your will. Now to get the most out of the eight dates experience, it is the task of each and every couple participating to go out on each of the eight dates, to set aside time, to focus on one another, and discuss these essential conversations to build a lifetime of love. And here are a few reflections from couples who participated in our eight dates. An aha moment was our first date. And I think that I went in thinking um, it wasn't gonna be as profound as it turned out to be. And I learned things about Matt that I never thought that I would know. And um, it was really powerful. Um, tears were had in a positive way. And um, I learned a lot about my husband and it was really wonderful. Yeah, and I think that for me is my aha moment was that really coming into this, I didn't think I was gonna learn anything. I thought this is gonna be kind of another, another one of those kind of books that you read and just sort of like, okay, improve my life. But really what, what hit me was that this can go as deep as you want it to take it. And I think for me, I learned stuff about myself that you know was really shocking, but I think at the same time was really profoundly impactful to our relationship and to my being able to relate with Colleen better. So yeah, yeah. very, very well done. So it was a great experience. Highly recommend it. We're going to tell all our friends to So thank you so much, you guys. Yeah, thank you. It was you. wonderful. Cheers. And um, good luck on all your journeys. Hi, everybody. I just wanted to tell the Family Wellness Ministry how awesome this um, these eight date sessions were. My husband and I learned a lot. Um, there's so much to learn, and I would highly recommend this to other couples. Thank you so much. I mean, but the one thing that uh, for me was important was is uh, just the intentional time that we spent together and that we were able to, to converse and have some great dialogue and listen to some other great couples out there and, and going through some of the same uh, situations as us. So that was something that will stick with me. We absolutely enjoyed our, let's say, eight Thursdays. So uh, we look forward to more uh, intentional time together. Thank you. Shortly after starting this eight date series, I was unfortunately diagnosed with stage two breast cancer. And being only 32 years old, this was a shock to me and my family to say the least. However, even with this new obstacle in our lives, we both agreed that it was very important for us to continue on with this series. Navigating through these eight topics in a time of crisis like ours was helpful and therapeutic as we talked through each chapter. I've changed a lot already and we both have committed to improving our relationship together. And speaking of changes, my wife, as she started to lose her hair, I decided to grow out a beard. So we've kind of had a change already. Probably not what we're looking for, but at least it's something. We don't know what the future will hold, but we commit to continuing to grow closer to each other as we continue to go on our dates. And in doing so, growing closer to Christ. Glory to God in all things, especially in times of uncertainties. Good night, y'all. Hi everybody.